Have you ever lost the keys to your car inside of your car? Or have gotten locked out of your own house? Well, as it turns out, you don't need to call an overpriced locksmith. Instead, you could use a chemical called thermite to burn through just about any lock. That is, according to the show Breaking Bad. You see, in Breaking Bad, Walt and Jesse use something called thermite to burn through a lock in order to break into a warehouse and steal some methylamine so that they can make some meth with it. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Now, thermite is just a mixture of two things. Iron oxide, which is just rust, and aluminum powder. And when ignited, it produces an exothermic reaction, which releases a lot of heat and light. But will it be enough heat to melt through a lock? I have two different locks of different sizes here, and I'm going to test their ability one by one to withstand the extreme heat of thermite. My hypothesis involves Walter White being very wrong. I don't think Thermite has a chance of melting through this lock, but I may be wrong. Now, before I go lighting anything on fire, I must say that you shouldn't. I'm forklift certified and I know what I'm doing, so don't try this at home. To make Thermite, I started with one part aluminum powder and three parts iron oxide by weight. And then I added just a pinch of salt to really enhance the flavor of that iron. I'm gonna start with this smaller lock first because if it can't burn through this, it's definitely not going to burn through this bigger lock either. So let's see how it does. That should be good. Now that one didn't look too promising. One, because one of my cameras died, and two, it barely went through that lock at all. As you can see, barely any damage was done. These are little droplets of molten iron, and this is from the iron oxide. Combination still works and everything. All the thermite has really done so far is just to make it harder to open, but it does open. Now I'm going to try it with all the thermite I have left. That's definitely a lot more thermite. I definitely think it's going to do a lot more damage this time, but I still don't think it's going to break through the lock. But we'll see. A regular butane lighter doesn't get hot enough to ignite thermite, so I'm going to have to use my strong laser pointer instead. Here goes nothing. Oh jeez, it's like looking at the sun. Not that I've ever looked at the sun before. So uh, you could stop thinking that I've ever looked at the sun, because I never have looked at the sun. You can hear it sizzling. Now it is really hot. That should cool it down a bit. I should mention that those delicious smelling fumes were a neurotoxin. After all that, it still seems to have failed to melt through the lock. Now I think the reason it didn't go through the lock is that it didn't stay hot for long enough. Even though that thermite burned at a higher temperature than the melting point of this metal, the lock didn't stay exposed to that heat for long enough to actually deform. It's kind of like saying you could cook a pizza at 400 degrees, but you only put the pizza inside the oven for a second. Of course, the pizza is not going to be cooked. It just needs more time. So in conclusion, realistically, Thermite is not going to help you melt through a lock. So Walter White, you're wrong.